Hello Year 8 and welcome to your fourth 3D design lesson. In today's lesson we're going to be using collage to decorate our Art Nouveau tile. Now in today's lesson you will need your cardboard relief, the tile that we made last lesson inspired by Art Nouveau. You will need a glue stick and you will need either some paper to rip up and to make the collage with. So in your packs you've been given, you've been given some plain paper which you're more than welcome to use. Well, what I suggest, if, what you, if you can do, is get yourself an old magazine, like a TV magazine, one of your mother's um, gossip magazines or something, because it tends to have some better colours in there, some colours that have a nice gradient that you could use, and you can literally find any colour that you actually need. Now, out of this magazine, I have ripped up this advert, which has a really nice sort of royal purple to it. It has a nice gradient from dark to light in the background. And I've already spent half an hour ripping up these pieces of paper into small tiny bits. Now, when we're using collage, I found that using small pieces generally makes our collage a bit better. So just for an example, a random piece of my collage fits within the tip of my finger. So really your pieces should be no bigger than maybe your, I don't know, let's say your little fingernail. If you go for that sort of size, that is a good ratio and size to go for. So if you spend some time ripping lots of pieces of paper, I mean if you find any big pieces within your, within your mass production of little pieces there, then just rip them in half to make sure we've got no big pieces that are going to ruin our work. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to use our glue stick, and I'm just gonna leave that maybe down here, just somewhere randomly. And I'm gonna get a tiny bit of glue on my finger to get it nice and sticky. And then I'm going to pick up one with that thing, with that um, glue on my finger, rub it on the end of the glue stick, and then place it on my area where I'm going to collage. Now I'm going to collage this whole leaf here. And what I suggest you do is, if you notice my size of my piece I've got on my finger, it's got a pointy end there and more like a sort of straight edge on this side. I'm going to use that to my advantage and put that in that pointy bit of my leaf down there. You might need to use your other finger to support it. In fact, actually look, that's overhanging my design there. I want to keep it so it's all together. So what I'm going to do actually is rip that tiny, a tiny bit, put that bit to one side, and get that pointy bit again and put it right in that corner of my design. That's a lot better. You can maybe neaten up the edges with your, with your nail if you can. And that little bit has just taken off. I'm going to use that again, make sure it's got some glue on it and then continue sticking, making sure it's on the edge. I'll just stick it down and move it towards the edge. So I'm doing the outline first. Do the edges first, make sure you complete those and then move on. Let's zoom in a bit closer. So that little bit of white there is just the, the, the edge of the paper that's been ripped and it's showing the, the bit that's underneath the color. So pick up your next piece rip onto the glue stick and then apply it make sure you're overlapping these pieces so we don't get any gaps apply it near the edge see that edge there and neaten up that with the edge of my fingernail to make sure it's nice and neat on my leaf and you should repeat that process over and over again it's actually quite a big piece there but it's all about maybe utilizing the shapes of yours see on this side I've got this nice point that I'm going to use to stick in that gap there I've got. Make sure you can twist it about whilst it's on the surface. Make sure you're happy with it. Pat it down. Neaten it up on the edge if you need to. And you can move on. Another small piece. I'm going to stick on the edge up there. Stick it down. You maybe use your other pit finger, your non gluey finger. To make sure it's nice and stuck down and then it's just a process of filling in the middle bits as you go overlapping them tapping it down to make sure it's secure and then keep going 
So what you might want to do is identify some pieces like this one here. It's got a straight edge and use that to your advantage. So I'm going to put some glue on the back of that one. Make sure I've got the straight edge on my straight edge up there. And I'm going to stick that one there where it's nice and straight. Let me push up a tiny bit. Neat enough with my nail. And there we go. We've got a nice straight edge up on that top bit there. So this collaging lesson, it will take us two lessons. So I expect you guys to have done half by the end of this le lesson. So what I'm going to do is finish up to here maybe. It might not be so neat, but I'm aiming to get half done. So I'm going to continue sticking mine down for the rest of the video to show you how much you should you should do. Bear in mind I'm only going to collage my main um, leaf in the middle. If your leaf in the middle has got a pattern on it already, like I discussed in the last video, then you don't have to do that. For example, my whiplash lines in the background already have colour on them. So I'm not going to collage on top of those. I'm only going to collage on top of the areas that are blank. So you keep adding those small pieces on. Making sure you go close to the edge. Once you're happy with one area, what I like to do is get the glue stick, maybe um, twist it up a bit more, and glue over the top of those pieces to make sure they're well stuck down and they're not going to come off. Okay, I'm using the edge so I can get a nice accurate spread of the glue in that one little area. Okay, so I'm going to speed up the rest of the video and show you my progress on my work so far. But at the end of this lesson, I expect to see a picture of your work uploaded of the progress you've made so far. I want to see at least half of your collage work covered. And that is all. Thank you very much. I look forward to seeing your work. Okay, so well done you right for getting this far in the video if, if you've been watching me for the I don't know, well, I've just spent about half an hour doing that and I'm gonna speed it up so into into about three or four minutes. So just to recap, this is what I expect by the end of the lesson. I want to see your cardboard relief work um, finished almost in terms of sticking the pieces down, and then your collage decoration. I only want you to do half of your collage this lesson. And remember, you need to rip up the pieces so they're small fingernail sized pieces like you can see here. Make sure um, you've got them small enough and you overlap them all so you've got no gaps in your cardboard left. Make sure you're bringing them to the edge and make sure you're using a straight side with the straight edge or just as much as you can do use it because that's how you're going to end up with loads of overlapping pieces. Right, thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing what you upload.